guys can hear? Yes. Yeah, we can hear. Yeah, we'll wait, just we'll wait a few minutes. Okay, did you resolve the issue? Today morning we had some issue, right? Hi, oh, yes, sir. I resolved it. It is working. Good morning. Uh, good evening. Good afternoon. One minute will wait. Today we are planning. Any doubts? Previous sessions? <clears throat> Uh, hello, sir. I have a doubt about the direct one. Yeah. Uh, direct and automatic. So automatic. Uh, so we have already done the configuration. So only thing is, uh, while uh, doing that outbound cycle, I hope. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Hope it will automatically generate that uh, replenishment uh, task once we we do, once the stock is falls below, right? Because the yes. settings are already done. No, no, you need to run it because as of now, we are doing the planned case, right? Yes. So planned case means you need to run. It depends on business, like or maybe six hours, everything uh, like that. So you need to run it. So we are not done. I mean, it's like, you know, some of thing like, you know, uh, when you go to the picker, where picker can do um, a direct direct replenishment, means you can trigger using exception code. So not done it, but you will cover the while doing outbound, some more we have left them, right? Enough yes, yes. Already, but, but uh, no, what I'm asking cover. about, uh, I'm asking about the automatic, uh, which uh, 3011. Automatic, uh, we have configuration already we did for 3011, right? Yeah, but I think we, we tested only planned case. That's more okay. than enough to planned case. Automatic one, that's what I just said. Um, because this works only if it is a false below a certain level, like, you know, um, for example, if a picker picks the item, then falls below, then system automatically triggers. Okay. Okay. And the case is like, you know, only is based on your timeline, like, you know, by bad job, you can run it or like, you know, every six hours, it depends on the uh, business requirement. So that, so planned means everything somewhere you have to do, right? Some certain time you have to run it, but automatic, it happens on everything automatically. Okay. Just focus a planned one if is a planned one is you are good. That's that's more than enough. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so today uh, I wanted to cover with the cross docking. And uh, so anybody knows about uh, what do you mean cross docking? Have you heard about cross docking? No. Sir, whatever we receive, we directly uh, go to the outbound delivery. So goes to the yes, outbound. That, that's right, yeah. If I miss you are right. Yeah. Cross docking, as I said, like as Ramesh mentioned, right? So so you receive from uh, from the inbound and you directly goes to the outbound. So there is no like you are going to like you know keep in the warehouse. Okay. You receive and you deliver directly from uh, goods receipt area uh, from GR zone to the directly the GI zone area, goods issue zone area. That's where it uh, was that. Yeah, and do you know what is the benefits of that? It's fine. Okay. Um, we'll go through more on that. See, cross docking is a, like, you know, is a, is a completely uh, uh, is a business requirement, whether they need to cross docking or not. There is no like mandatory, like, you know, warehouse should go for cross docking. It's all depends on the business. And also it depends on the industry also. So whether it is a retail industry, uh, FMCG or oil and gas, so manufacturing company, it's all depends on the business, especially the cross docking they will use for retail industry or like, you know, is a large uh, distribution center. Assuming that you have a different plants and you are, you are somehow thing based on the route, somehow thing is going to the day, the same route so that major distribution center, everything different cities, they will send it. And again, so you are consolidating at the one location. 
that means you are not at all like you know storing any inventory there just you receive different locations and from gi G, G, goods receipt area and you will move directly to the outbound area to deliver to the customer that's where it works cross docking okay and we'll go through one by one and um, the main advantage of the cross docking is like you know uh, typically so the main benefits of cross docking is like you know it's always a streamlines the supply chain okay from virginal location to the destination location and also less inventory handling handling because you know because are they, when you are not managing any inventory because it's not going to retain in your warehouse just you receive it and you deliver it so obviously it reduces the labor cost right and also it reduces the amount of warehouse space required so because they, you are not going to keep definitely it reduces the amount of warehouse space required and also like you know eliminates um, supply chain altogether that's another advantage and also quicker delivery of the product to the customer especially if you are in a retail industry this cross docking will help you a lot okay so remember is the retail industry where you use extensively this cross docking okay and also it reduces the risk of damage inventory due to handling unit because in a more handling unit again you have to do a lot of movements and it may so it avoids the minimize the damage itself and also it increased if it's a, a retail industry where you know your sales space sales it increases because you know it's less time right you receive and you deliver it and also you are not taking any time to um, like um, packing or anything because you already packed product you are receiving you are delivering to the customer okay and also cross docking will help you can consolidate from different smaller loads like you know different uh, as i mentioned different uh, cities you arrive it but you can always consolidate and you can send it all together to the customer in terms of the transportation you can save a lot of money in terms of the transportation okay and overall as i said yeah consolidation will help improve the transportation cost okay that is uh, some of the benefits for the uh, no, just we'll go through one by one and i said what is the cross docking you know that now just i explained like you know you are receiving at the goods uh, inbound staging area and uh, from the inbound staging area the product goes directly to the or hus goes directly to the outbound staging area where you deliver to the customer okay the majority as i mentioned this uh, cross docking will use more on beverages and retail industries okay and we have a different types of different types of cross docking one is a planned cross docking and unplanned cross docking planned means you are planning up front then which product is coming as a cross docking product and unplanned means some occasions you receipt but you may not put into the warehouse but from uh, once you receipt we can plan for that that is unplanned cross docking okay majority the planned means the, you know that which product is going to receive from the supplier that product there is a, some um, conflict we need to maintain and there is a map, attributes you need to maintain like you know, which product is undergoing to the cross docking okay and um, you know there are several types of cross docking in um, in a supply chain unit but sap is ewm as um, using extensively for the opportunity, opportunity cross docking okay we can uh, trigger from the ewm system okay we will discuss more about the opportunity cross -down. don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos talking okay. and um, how to configure the opportunity cross docking and um, how we can uh, leverage this entire cross docking process okay uh, these are the some of the uh, uh, benefits as you know that cross docking is a method used to optimize the processing of goods in a warehouse by using incoming stock directly for outbound process without storing them in the warehouse okay uh, these are the benefits you can see that reduce the handling in it and the speed of flow of material uh, reduce the storage space requirement and also reduce the transportation cost okay these are the some of the benefits and if you look at this one uh, some kind of layout diagram where i try to explain like you know so this is a cross docking see you unload it here at the inbound staging area and uh, once you get the hu directly you move to the okay outbound staging area and you load it and you deliver it okay there is no such a, a, like you know <clears throat> uh, 
you are going to retain any this HUR anywhere in the ware. That means no storage locations required for us for cross docking. Okay. This is the one advantage. So it helps and speed up the your customer orders and speed up the supply chain in it. Okay. We should also aware of that. How is the cross docking is going to work? Okay. So this is also one kind of layout where we can.